the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 82, Judges 8 to 9. A father's success and the son's failure. When Gideon died, the people went back to the habits of idolatry, and Abimelech, who made himself king, threw the period into chaos. First point Although Gideon succeeded immensely, his sons failed. To Gideon and his 300 soldiers who led Israel into great victory, after defeating the Midianites, the tribe of Ephraim came and complained why they were not invited in the fight. This could have led to a big argument, but Gideon was very wise and settled this gracefully. On the other hand, Others came to Gideon and asked him to rule over them as king. But Gideon replied that he would only serve the Lord. After a few years, Gideon died. Most unfortunately, the people forgot again that God saved them and started to worship idols. They failed to remember the story of Gideon as well. Later on, in Judges chapter 9, we see the foolish son of Gideon, Abimelech, who tried to become king over Israel. Abimelech killed all his brothers, excluding his youngest brother, Jotham, and tried to become king. At this point, we should look at the reason why Gideon was able to lead such a successful life. The first was because he was a man of faith and obedience. The second was because he was able to gracefully handle the situation with the tribe of Ephraim. The third was because he rejected to become king. Second point, Gideon led the five chase a hundred battle and set the mood for the next 40 years for a kingdom of priests. Gideon and his 300 soldiers led Israel into great victory after defeating the Midianite. And so Israel was able to keep their peace for 40 years. We can see that during the era of judges, Israel was able to keep momentary peace when the judges intervened in their idol-worshipping lives. It was so important that the people understood that peace comes from God. Third point, Gideon wisely and humbly succeeded in making internal peace with the tribe of Ephraim. After defeating the Midianites, the tribe of Ephraim complained to him rather than thanking him. When Gideon started his initial recruit, he went to the tribe of Manasseh, Asher, Jebulon, and Naphtali. At this, the tribe of Ephraim was angry as they were not chosen. Gideon went to them and humbly solved the situation. Gideon told them that more so than his law, the contribution of the Ephraim tribe at the end was significant. Due to his humble attitude, Gideon was able to safely handle this incident, which almost grew into an unnecessary internal fight. Fourth point, to the people who wanted to appoint Gideon as king, he implemented the words of Joshua to reject the position. Gideon experienced victory in three stages with his 300 soldiers. The first was the fight between his 300 versus 135,000 Midianites. During this battle, 120,000 Midianites died. The second was the fight against the two Midian kings. 
The third was between Sukkoth and Peniel. As such, Gideon and his 300 soldiers were able to experience immense victory, which was why Israel asked Gideon to be their king. Fifth point, Abimelech made a complete wreck out of the relationship between the house of Gideon and Shechem. Gideon, who showed such bravery and obedience, failed to educate his sons properly. The aftermath of this failure became apparent after his death. Abimelech was a son born from a Shechem woman, and after his father's death, he went to Shechem to recruit troops and then killed his 70 brothers. Abimelech convinced the people of Shechem to aid him in killing his brothers, but then, after three years as king, Abimelech caused internal conflict. After Abimelech had governed Israel three years, God stirred up animosity between Abimelech and the citizens of Shechem so that they acted treacherously against Abimelech. God did this in order that the crime against Jerubal's 70 sons, the shedding of their blood, might be avenged on their brother Abimelech and on the citizens of Shechem who had helped him murder his brothers. Abimelech was killed because of this. We can see how even the great Gideon failed at educating his son about a kingdom of priests. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondok app. The Tondok app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondok app.